Shopping station waiting to go into London, man. Um, wow. It's been a long week, I've got to be honest with you. Man City winning the treble. Had to put my head down, man. Ain't cool. Ain't good. But it's one of those things. Records are always there to be broken, man. So that's the way it is. But listen, on to more pressing issues and more interesting issues from a real third man and five perspective. Man United takeover is imminent. We're hearing the Qataris, the Qatari bid is the one that's taken over. It's the one that's going to be accepted and it's the one that is going to go through. Hallelujah, man. We can't wait. Please let this happen. Please let it be true, man. Let's look how long this has gone on for. The Glazers have dug their hills in and they're going, obviously it seems like the biggest bidder. The person that bids the most money is going to get the club, which is normal in negotiations, but they've certainly dragged their hills and I just wanted this to be sorted out and resolved before the transfer window really kicks in. We're getting to that point now where the transfer window start open and it's start, moves are starting to happen, things are starting to develop and there's big stuff going on, man. Uh, I'm going to do another video talking about um, certain transfers like Harry Kane and Bappe, etc. But the, trans the, the takeover bid from, from the Qataris um, is something that we've been, wait we've been waiting for for a long time. We've been sitting here every day I've woke up, like everybody else, like all Man United supporters, you wake up and you sit there and think, please tell me the news is going to come in today and there's going to be a, a, a bid accepted. And we're hearing that it's close. We're hearing that it's within a matter of days that this is going to happen, if not hours. So I'm looking forward to that. And then we can see then, we can have a plan for this, this window because that was a concern for me, that if we don't get it sorted out before this transfer window opens properly and gets started, we're going to be behind everybody and we're going to be playing catch up how much money we'll have to spend, what kind of commitment we can give to players, current players at the club thinking, well, where are we? What does that do to the mentality of the players? Listen to me, once this bid goes through and the deal goes through and it's sanctioned and the sale is, the sale is made, the players that are even currently at the club will, will get a new lease of life, let alone the players coming in. So listen, fingers crossed this is right. Fingers crossed this information is, is, is really, really true and we can get it going. I've got it from a good source that it is true. So I'm just waking up now every day, just looking at the papers or looking online going, please guys, please, please, please. As of yet, we're still waiting. Just like I am waiting for my train here at the station. So listen guys, get in the comments, let me know your thoughts. Um, a big question for me is, well, what are they gonna do behind the scenes? Is it just a matter of only the takeover and that's it? for the foreseeable future and they leave everything else the same or is it going to be a complete overhaul behind the scenes what happens with things like oh, obviously the coach will stay where he is because he's done a fantastic job but that's because that's being seen there's stuff behind the scenes and there's people contributing in a, in a great way at the club um, but the new people might come in and say we want our own people exclusively I don't know we have to wait and see and that's a big question do that overhaul the backroom staff in terms of like the hierarchy underneath the ownership um, the CEO, the directors of football, etc. Do they look at that area, the recruitment area, or do they come in and look at it, assess it, keep what they've got, or when they find have any findings, do they go, you know what, we need to change X, Y, and Z? That's the interesting part for me behind the scenes. What are they going to do? Because up to now, you have to say the recruitment angle has changed, and it's it's, it's looking much better than it did for the last eight or nine years. You can see there's a method to it at the moment. And I think the guys behind the scenes are doing a really good job.